What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, another live stream where we are developing, uh, hopefully, an RPG using Unreal Engine 4, the gameplay ability system, and C++, blueprints, etc., things like that. Uh, so the last time uh, we worked on this was on uh, on Tuesday, and we used the uh, Tranex project um, to figure out how to get damage uh, to work with our health. So just to recap... We have our health, and we can walk through. And we added a, a damage over time effect using a period, like a period within a, the gameplay effect, so we know it's working. So what I want to do now, uh, let me pull up the Trello board. Let me also just make sure we're not in Slack anymore. Um, so damaging characters, right? So we implemented Tranix damage version. Sorry for those who use Slack and you're hearing these notifications. Uh, so create a new version of applied damage using the damage effect and then create a new damage data asset and apply it to character base. So I think that's what I want to do right now. Because we do something kind of similar. We have a data asset. Uh, I think under abilities, data asset, yeah, player abilities. And this just handles things on its own. We don't have to really worry about it right now. I kind of want to make like a damage uh, asset. Because um, if I remember right, so, so it has gameplay statics. Is there, I, I don't know if there's a way to override gameplay statics either. But there's the whole, like, apply uh, damage and stuff like that. I think it's in here, right? So there's apply damage, and then there's take damage. Which does a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I wonder if I can essentially uh, make my own version of this function. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if it's overridable or not because it's under so it's under gameplay statics that we have applied damage and then take damage is going into the actor. So I wonder how gameplay statics works. So let's open containing folder. Okay, so it's under this directory. So engine source, runtime engine. Okay. So uh, this engine, runtime. And then engine again. So engine source runtime engine and then public will be the dot H, right? Or for, for gameplay statics. No. Hmm. Guess we'll have to look. Or do, or do I have to kind of make my own, like, uh, hero gameplay statics or something? All right. So here's gameplay statics. It's a big fucking <laughs> file, it seems. Okay. Let's see. Apply damage, I think. All right. So it's its own thing. So what kind of class is this? Um, Cause I don't know if I want to change engine source code. I don't, I definitely don't want to do that. Um, so it's a view blueprint function libraries. Maybe we could create our own. 
Ask it name how to deal tons of damage. <laughs> is that actually a name or is that, are you just trolling, Codebreaker? <laughs> yeah, you're trolling. What should I name the function? Should it be that? Like, hero deal tons of damage? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's... Let's try to make our own static blueprint function library. I don't know if static's the right name. I guess it has to be static. I, I'm learning as I go. At least with C++. <sighs> Gotta charge my phone. Okay. Yeah, I I learned my lesson not to touch source code. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at it, that's for sure. But I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna change anything. So let's go ahead. Um, the C plus plus class. And then, uh, you blue is it uh, blueprint function library? Uh. Yes, that's that, that's the one, right? Um, yeah, U Blueprint Function Library. So yeah, we'll call it Hero uh, Blueprint Function Library, and then we'll call it what? What, should we, what directory? Can I, we'll say Gameplay. What folders do we already have? Um, no, that doesn't tell me. Let's look in the content browser. C++ class is hero. Um, I guess we can make a new folder. We'll just call it function library. Uh, yeah, instead of calling hero blueprint, we'll call it hero gameplay statics. I'm satisfied. <laughs> you gots to know how important naming is. Mm. Yeah, so today um, I got this uh, mon monitor mount in the mail where I'll be able to mount uh, two monitors like up and above. And I'm still waiting on my third monitor. And the third monitor is the same as, because uh, I have, I don't know, an HP 27 inch and then some other brand that's like a widescreen on my right. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, have the big wide one in front of me and then suspended are the two 27 inch monitors uh but i just realized today that the brand that i have doesn't have the uh i forget the term for it um just the like the just the bolts and stuff that are required to attach the actual mount to it so now i have to order uh i, I don't know why my english is not doing so good right now i can't think of the words i'm trying to think of. i have to order um how let me just let me find the, the word um it's on amazon just recently purchased it yeah this adapter the vs v v e s a vesta adapter so i had to buy two of these for it i'm also possibly considering having the two same size monitors left and right and then the wide one on top and the one that is wide has the appropriate uh sockets and everything so i mean it'll give me i guess a chance to um play around with the configuration which is nice Ugh. always fun when this thing takes forever to compile
Yeah, maybe I can use the bilingual excuse. <laughs> like, I know a few languages, but I'm not... Um... Shit. <laughs> uh... I can't think of... I don't know why I want to say the word authentic, but that's not the right word. I'm not... Um... Yeah, I got. I don't. <laughs> I can't think of a word. Fluent, fluent. I'm not fluent in it. <laughs> I'm not even fluent in English anymore. Fuck. I, I have. I don't know. I have Polish. I have some Polish in my head. I don't know. I I know like two percent of Polish words that exist. Kurva being one percent of the two. And then I know like five percent Serbian in my head. Some Spanish. And like 1% Hungarian in there, just throwing chalky foss left and right in my head. And then English is just getting its ass kicked by all of these languages, and I'm just forgetting all these words. And then I guess if you can, if you want to count C++ as a language, I got some C++ in my head. <laughs> I don't really count Blueprint as a language, because it's like, I don't know. You technically don't have to write anything. <laughs> but if we want to count Blueprint as a language, then I know some Blueprint as a language. <laughs> and then Python, maybe a little bit. Yeah, Blueprint, yeah. It's like Spanglish <laughs> for for code. <laughs> All right, we're in. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to stop debugging. Okay, so in theory, we're just gonna have to copy what we what we see in gameplay statics first and foremost, right? Um, so we don't. I don't know. What, what do we need to include for apply damage? Let's look at this. Um, okay, so blueprint authority only means it only gets called on the server. So hurts a specified actor with generic damage. That will be damage, the base damage to apply. Okay, well, we can pretty much copy. Um, copy the signature. We'll take the comment too, just so we can have it all. Let me close all the unnecessary bullcrap at the moment. Okay. And let's split this vertically. Okay. Um, and I think it's fine. Uh, if we take in an actor, uh, and we can take in a controller. I uh, don't know why, okay, yeah, I don't know why I was butthurt about that. Um, now, is this under the public modifier, or does that also not matter? Um, I'm looking for any kind of modifier. Uh, no, I think with the, um, is it with classes where the default modifier is public or is it private and then structs are the opposite? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, okay. Okay, now we can create this implementation. Okay, so this won't do anything, obviously. But what I would want it to do um, is pretty much um, apply damage. <laughs> um, let's go back to our damage execution. Hero damage. So I kind of want to do pretty much this, essentially, right? 
Um, but it's capturing data. Um, how would this work? Um, would target, uh, I guess the applied damage would behind the scenes apply the gameplay effect, right? I guess. Um, let me just look, let me compile this. I want to look at our blueprint for that damage actor because I believe it um, creates a spec uh, and we do set color by magnitude. So I'm thinking, how? How? <laughs> What's wrong? Um, oh, it must return a value. Duh. Okay, we can make it return zero, nulla. Nada, nista, nits. Okay, there. Let's try that again. Okay. So we have our damage actor, right? Yeah, if you want, to, if you literally want to learn nothing in multiple languages, come hang out. <laughs> it will figure it out. So look, we're we're um, so we're making an outgoing spec with our damage base effect, right? Um. Okay, so how can I do this in C++? Um, let's see. Maybe Codeberg, if you'll know, because I think you've done this at this point, but let's see. Uh, UE4, oh. I feel like I need to just look, like there's not that much documentation on the gameplay ability system that I can just literally look up. Uh, apply gameplay fact, right? Um, yeah, so there, so there's this, um, okay, so it's kind of like this in a sense, right? Um, most of my code is done through blueprints, to be honest. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> that's fine. Um, like, if I'm gonna be honest, my, my job in titles uh, only lets me work in blueprint, which I don't blame them because I don't know much about C++. So just for the point of my own learning, I want to try to do as much of the heavy lifting or even the light lifting in C++ and just kind of explore more about data management um, and how these systems kind of connect together and hopefully just learn C++ along the way or at least Unreal Engine 4's version of C++ because uh, C++ by itself it's its own fucking <laughs> animal. Okay, so... Um, okay, so I have an, I have an idea Um, how do I do this cleanly? Okay, that's clean enough. Uh, what I'll need to do, or at least what I'd like to do, uh, is create a new data asset class. Uh, I know Blueprint's kind of slow, but you can use a data vibe option. So during ga game build, it will translate the VPs into raw C++. Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it does. Um, 
I, like it's uh, C++, like native C++, like straight up, you're writing it in C++ will always be better, even if you use the blueprint um, to nativization thing, because it still has to talk to some, I don't know what they call like a virtual machine or compiler to kind of do quick calculations during that. Um, so it's not, it's not a one-to-one, -one if, I re if I remember correctly. Maybe just so I can satisfy my own th th thirst for knowledge, let's look that up. Um, we for BP nativization. When team script gameplay with blueprints, they're creating classes, compile, as a result, blueprints work well for game teams. Yeah, the, okay. So the reason that non-programmers can work strictly with blueprints is because blueprint nodes run in a virtual machine, enabling them to call native C++ functions. Unfortunately, relying on the, okay, so this is what blueprints does. So blueprints by itself without nativization is talking to the virtual machine that does like translations from C++ and everything like that. So the main goal of the blueprint nativization is to reduce the virtual machine overhead in the runtime version of your project by generating native C++ code for that. In general, all the blueprint are replaced, uh, replaced by the new generated C++ class that were compiled with the project. Although you'll be able to read the translation from text editor, you know it's got the code as a format if you want it, okay? Okay, so, mm hmm Okay. Um, okay, so maybe it is one-to-one. -one. Maybe I was wrong. Um, so when you select inclusive nativization, you're electing to nativize all of the supported blueprint classes in your project. Okay. Um, okay, so that's just telling us how to do it. Uh, so there's a highlight video. All right, does it tell me how long this video is? Okay, 45 minutes. Uh, we don't have time for that. <laughs> it may simply be super long in your game, maybe heavier, but then it runs faster than native VPs. Yeah. Definitely something to look into. So let us, um, create a new class. Um, I think it has to be just a data asset. Um, hero damage data. I think this can go, should this go under data? Or should this go under damage? <laughs> what, what does the chat say? Should this go this data asset for damage? Should it go under the damage folder, or should it go under the data folder? I'm thinking uh, data. Under tons of damage. Got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my heart and say it goes under data. Because what I want to do. I want this data asset to contain some information that we can reuse for damage calculating. Uh, Cause um, we have uh, written in C++ like a, a hard written F name, I believe for the tag that we're gonna be looking for. Um, uh, and it's like data.damage or something like that. And I'd rather have that as a parameter in our data asset. Okay, so it failed to compile, but that's fine. Okay. Is it not returning a value? Okay, let's not get too butthurt about that. Um, okay. Yeah, reload all. Oh, I must have deleted it. <laughs> okay. Return zero. That's my bad. Um, okay. So under data. For damage data. Um, so something we want to do quickly is, um, I guess maybe under hero character, we'll want to do it just so if we end up having uh, enemies or anything like that, we can use this information there as well. But I want to reference what we wrote for our character because we have the ability data asset. So I want to just copy do a copy of the signature there. 
So all this stuff, all this crap, here we go. So it's a force in line. Um, oh, that, I get, that gets it, okay. Um, so we'll have to copy that, I know. Uh, so that's attributes, here we go. Um, so under a hero character, uh, what is this? It's under protected, and then we will create a public function. Uh, definitely not under engine source code folders. Yeah, <laughs> just, to, just to fuck with myself, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so we want to, and I think we have to include it, right? Yeah. Hash include. Oops. Arrow. Data. Arrow damage data. Um, and let's go into that. So it's like that. Uh, damage data. And then we can copy this, uh, uh, this function. This is under public, yeah? Mm -hmm. Change what we need to change. Uh, here, uh, get damage data, return that. Okay. Let us compile that, make sure we're all kosher there. Bing pot. We got we got zero comp error. We already failed because of the apply damage not returning something. So we've already failed the challenge. But let's see if we can keep up the positive vibes here. Um, okay, so we got so in our player character, we should now have. Oh, I gotta change the uh, category because it's gonna be under. Hero and abilities, I think, right? Yeah, let's change it to damage. Uh, actually, let's call it data. I'm in a, I'm in a mood. <laughs> I'm in a data mood right now. So hero, data. I guess I'll do the same. I guess I can. Um, I wonder if I can move this. Let's comment this. Let's put it into hero character instead, right? Yolo swagons. And then. See if it likes that. Knowing everything and everything, it won't. Oh yeah, suck it. Yeah, I know. I'm shocked as you too, Copreaker. 
Okay, so now hero player character should still be okay. Um, maybe the data asset for the uh, abilities might have been uh, reset. No, perfect, okay. So now we have a damage data and we can, um, uh, so where should we put this? Uh, so abilities and then there's data asset. Let's make a new one, um, damage. And data asset. Then we can do new miscellaneous data asset. Hmm. I wonder where we can add common classes for this. I wonder if it's the same place. But anyway, here's our hero damage data, right? Um, what's the naming convention that we did? Okay, nothing much, okay. Uh, hero damage. And then we could put it here. And honestly, that's not gonna do any, like anything really for us at the moment. But, we should now Um, so we don't need our character anymore, so let's say goodbye. Um, just trying to not lose track of my thoughts here. Okay. So let's make, um, I can't, ah, okay. So maybe we can do F gameplay tag, uh, damage tag. And it has to have a U property. This blueprint read only. Let's look at my other damage. Let's look at this other data asset. So yeah, blueprint read only and edit anywhere. And I guess we can do, what's the syntax for that? Let me get back into uh, our character real quick. Um, category? Yeah, okay. Okay. Um. Actually, this will be private. Okay, it has to be public. <laughs> okay. Um, then, let's do an easy way to get the app name. We're not really saying goodbye to the character. We're just adding things to the base character in case we need to do things for enemies later on. Because the player character should derive from the same class as AI would, like enemies, as much as they can, and then just kind of. I I don't want to I don't know much about polymorphism, but I'm gonna say polymorph from there. <laughs> um, so let's make a U function. Uh, I don't know if it has to be a U function actually, but we're gonna make a U function. Um, it's going to be, um, F name, because I believe in the damage calculation. Uh, yeah, F name is doing dat data dot damage. So we basically want to convert this gameplay tag. Yes, inheritance. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically convert, get the, get, get the gameplay tag as an F name, right? So F name, get data tag. Uh, 
I wonder if we could just do this in line. Return. Um, okay, what, ha what what other one has a gameplay tag? Our character movement component. I just want to know what class we might need. See how we have F gameplay tag? Yeah, gameplay tag container, I suppose, is what we need. Don't need that one. And then... Uh, I believe there should be an easy way to do this, right? Data tag. Oh, damage tag. Um, get tag name. What's wrong here? All right, it doesn't really want to tell me. Let's see if it maybe it does. Um, F name. I feel like that function name is wrong. It looks wrong. Oh, whoops. Um, let's do a check as well. If damage tag, um, is there a way to return like a null? I wonder if there's a, like, just uh, get none, like, uh, like spew out bullshit. <laughs> um, um, guess can I just do a uh, null? Um, Maybe this one's a dot. Okay. Do I have to do something like that? I don't know what's wrong. I think there is a nun name or something. I forget. Um, let's see if we can find it. UE4, C++, nun, F name. Uh, so it is none. So like null. Okay. Name. Um. I literally do something like that. Guess I have to include. Okay, I don't need it here anymore, right? I could just kind of diarrhea it out here. Yeah, it's name none. Good catch on that. Um, I also want to do a UE log. Log temp. Is there a error? Because there's warning. Text. No damage tag assigned. Um.
That should be good enough, right? Wait, if the tag is empty, isn't already returning a name? None? Maybe. Maybe that is redundant then. Um... Okay, let's do something like this. Um, how do you write those? Um, I guess we can say we don't want. To, maybe we could just do damage, uh, or is it data dot damage, right? We'll just hard code it here. Cause that, that is our tag. Um, uh, we'll st stick with the capitals will be used by default. I think something like that is more readable. Uh, an extra check doesn't kill anyone, but I was wondering. Um, yeah, I think a check like I think this is enough. Basically, like obviously, I'm, like, I'm writing this as if somebody else is gonna be reading this fucking code, which someone might be if um, you get access to the GitHub. But I guess you should always write as if someone else is gonna read it just for good practice sake. But I think that's valid. So get data tag. Um, I guess we can just say returns damage ta damage tag as F name. Okay, so let's compile. <laughs> Let's see, let's see how much we messed up. Yep, <laughs> we messed up. Okay, uh, what's wrong? So damage tag, unidentified, un undeclared identifier? Um. Is it though? <laughs> uh, what's wrong? Damage tag's not a member. Phew. What, what could be wrong here? Oh God. So damage tag is not a member of you hero damage data, but it, but it is, right? <laughs> That's right. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, so error, whatever. Okay, that doesn't help me any. I feel like I'm gonna, it's something stupid, right? Um, should I do it? Do I have to do something like this? Like, like gameplay tag container? I don't think that's necessary. I'm kind of shooting in the dark here. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Not supposed to use class. Because it's a struct. At least I got rid of those warnings, but I feel like it's gonna fail again, right? Yeah. So missing type specify. I know we've seen that before. So do I need to include it in both? I feel like that's not necessary, right? I thought that's what that does, but let's see. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, I don't think I'm overwriting anything because I'm literally making like a clean data asset. Okay, so we got new we got new errors. We got new errors. <laughs> We're making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past them. We're homebound. Okay. By like, if I'm not mistaken, if you declare a header, like if you do an include within the header, the CPP should be fine. So in theory, I should be able to remove that, and then I should be able to do this. No, and then this. I could never, okay. So error, term does not evaluate to a function taking zero arguments. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Let me just eliminate something from the equation here. Yeah, okay. So that doesn't matter. Um, term does not evaluate to a function. Okay, taking zero arguments. Let me look at this again. Damage tag. Oh. It's not a function. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see if there's, how much do we get with empty? Here we go, right? No. Is empty? What's wrong with that? I feel like you do, right? Yeah. Uh, so is there not um, something for empty? Okay, is valid is good enough, it looks like. There goes our uh, zero compilation run. <laughs> okay, 
So now in our hero damage, we can add a tag, which would be data.damage. Boom, <laughs> that's all we accomplished, boys. Um, but, but now, I guess in theory, uh, we'll, need to do, we'll need to do a test, right? Um, so, uh, where is it in our execution CPP? So, uh, so in theory, if we make this anything else, it's not going to work. Like our health's not gonna go any lower. So if we just put like in there, <laughs> man, this is how I kind of talk to myself when I'm working and trying to figure out a problem. I say like, in theory, this should fucking work, and then it doesn't. <laughs> Then I gotta rethink my theory. Okay, so now we go in and it crashes, <laughs> which I guess is fair. <laughs> I don't like that it crashes, but Uh, request tag was not found. Check tag table. Yeah. Okay. So th that makes sense that that happened. I'm <laughs> not going to say that was wrong. But what I want to do is... Um, Um, how can I, all right, there is, uh, all right, there is a uh, thing like this. How can I get access to a, a reference? How, what would be the best way to do this? Um, um, Sorry, I gotta be quiet for a second. Uh, yeah, sometimes you gotta think out loud, even if you're by yourself. Um, how do I wanna handle this? Hmm. All right, do I wanna just get a little like reference? Uh, where I think it's in the controller. We do something like that. Hero controller CPP. No game mode then. So do we, can we get a reference? Can we do something like that? Or am I kind of being stupid? <laughs> um, let's look at game mode. Um, okay, can, can we do something like that? Like I see it's gonna have some problems here. Um, can I do something like this? Hmm. 
Um, since it's not an act, can I still use it that way? Um, okay, is there is there anything I can use uh, for the static? Doctor helpers. Is it object? Ah, still bitches about that, huh? Oh, let's see. So what is it doing? Player pawn BP class. So what is that? That's nothing. Well, not in this context. Where, what is it here? Um, okay, that's the name of the variable. Hero damage data, or let's just call it damage data. Can we do something like this? I tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. I tried so hard and trying to load BBs from people, but it never worked for me, so I made a simple dummy, which everything is. <laughs> yeah, why not? So I think this is what we have to do. Slash game, and then uh, let's find this hero dev. Okay, let's update these. I think I need to include the name, right? So is that valid or no? Uh, no, it's not. Um, and is this still this is still wrong, right? If I write it like that, yeah. Um, you uh, UE four. What's this thing called? Constructor helper data asset. Um. So object finder is right, right? <laughs> What's the, my memory is garbage. F object finder. Does it, does it need a pointer? No. Do I need to include the header file maybe? When in doubt, include it. <laughs> Hero. Data. Damage. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that worked. Uh, you blend in with the background. Oh, when it's white. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, so now should be able to do something like this. do here guess I don't really need an F oh whoops this thing is damage data class Is that legit? I don't know how legit that is. Um, then I guess I can do, hold on. I'm vibrating. Okay. Oh, sorry. Should, do I, should I do something like this? If damage data class, that's what I'm setting, right? Yeah. Um, I guess I should do F name, damage tag, and then, um, damage tag equals damage data class. Uh, what's the, uh, Function name get data tag. Oh, do I have to do it like this? Else damage tag equals uh, data uh, damage. I guess that should be its own function too. I don't know if I'm like overdoing it with all this shit. <laughs> um, no, this already returns that, right? Yeah, so if this, no matter what, it's gonna return that correctly. So this is redundant shit. So I should be able to say, uh, Guess I'm able just to say that. Well, I guess this is just in case this isn't valid, right? Guess we'll find out. I guess that's how you have to write it. Um, okay, so more problems. <laughs> So damage data class. What's wrong? Um.
I don't think I need to include this everywhere. Let's see if that made anything better or worse. Made it better. <laughs> okay. Ah, my ass. Okay. So now, in, again, in theory, um, we should be able to. Okay, this is where it might fuck up if it can't find the asset. Okay, I think it found the asset. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's just check if this works. Let's see if it crashes. No, it works. Bow, bow, bow. Suck it. Okay. Um, I guess if we're... Hmm. Intellect plus 69%. Hell yeah. Um, I guess if I'm, um, if, I, if I'm, if I'm preloading an object in here, do I even need that parameter in the player character? Like, what did it come down to? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what we're doing. Um... Okay, let's close out of everything. So gameplay statics, go over here. No more game mode, uh, no more game mode. Zero damage data. Okay, I think this is all we need. Okay. Um. Uh, maybe we can do something like... Alright, I need our base character. Oops. Uh, hero, character. Are the pragmatic... Pragma yeah, once they do that. So where did I say I needed to take care of that? I should be able to remove that, right? Uh, where's the other one? Yeah, I had to add that there, so I should be able to take care of that. So let's just remove that for now. So statics, statics, statics. Let us... Um, we have to add a new thing inside of our hero damage data. So let's separate our functions from our properties. Gameplay effects. Now, 
let's look into our uh, other data asset. I think it does. No, it does abilities. Um, how does that look inside of our statics? So. Let us find gameplay ability. Oh boy. Not test. Gameplay ability.cpp. All right, so we want public. So how does the uh, cooldown thing look like? I gotta figure out the... Uh, Signature cooldown remaining. Um, no, so that's events. Uh, here we go. No. I know you're in here. Okay, so we're looking for that. Yes. Got him. All right, we got to just take something like this. Guess we could do edit defaults only on both of them. I don't know. <laughs> uh, category. I mean, you don't really need parentheses there, do you? But we're going to add them anyway. Okay, so what do I need? What does gameplay ability have? Okay, we're going to need this, I think. Um, oh yeah. Let's see if this just compiles. Wow, it's compiling a lot. <laughs> So far, it's legit. Um, so now, here in our data asset, we have, yes. Damage base, boom, okay. So far, we're in business. Um, uh, sorry, I gotta think. <laughs> um, let's go back into our statics. Now we should be able to do something like a hero character that we already have included a uh, character equals cast a hero character. Oops. Damage actor. Then if character equals 
you should be able to do something like... Okay, so making outgoing effect. Where did I copy that from? <laughs> I don't know. We need what? Definitely this. Not that much. Um. Can I do something like this or? Ah, oh, my brain. I can't think of the path that I want to go down. I need to get the um, the damage data asset. So you hero damage data. Damage data equals character. I'll need to include that, I think. So, if include, I don't think I know. Hero. Then. So then if damage data I have access to you. Uh, I don't think I need that. I think I can just take that, right? Take it baby steps, huh? Make out. Okay. So I definitely need another. Okay, wait. Now it's happy? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, now it's not happy again. Um. Let's leave that alone. Um, gameplay ability, right? Um, there, make outgoing game, gameplay effect. Okay. So needs. So do I need gameplay ability? Let's see. Is that satisfactory? Guess not. Um, I find this not happy. Can I start over? Something like abilities and then gameplay ability. And that is it happy with this? So 
but still not happy with that. Um, no, I, I found the header I'm looking for. Um, these are not the headers you are looking for. Um, Um, let's see if there's any more information about make outgoing. Okay, so it's there twice. And this is in the same spot, almost. Um, the code you're seeing is inside an ability, so it has. So am I not able, like, to, uh... okay, can I do something like this? Uh... Um... Where's the ability system component? Oh, no, is it? All right, so gameplay ability. So is there a Reference to the component. All right, there's definitely one in our character. Don't know if it's in the base or not. Yeah. Uh, is the ability system interface or? Um, maybe in here. Yeah. Okay. So it is literally like that. That's upsetting. Uh, boom, boom. Where is our statics? All right. Be happy with that, please. Okay. Um, And we can do, is it a U ability system component? Oh, no. Um, I'll do ASC. Oh, that's the name. Um, oh my God, what am I doing? Okay, I guess now we can do this. So, ability system component, uh, make outgoing spec. Or, is that existent? No. So, make outgoing spec. So, it needs the gameplay effect. What does it need? It needs the context. Um, what could the context be? Um, I think we do something in the head, this calculation.
Hmm. Okay, um... What kind of thing do we need? Ugh. Help me out here. Um, F gameplay effect context handle. Okay. Is that wrong? Okay, so there's then. Ah, oh, it's the last one. Okay. Um. Is there a way to get ability level? Not really, but I guess we don't need one. Unless we want to have one as the parameter. Yeah. Okay, let's leave it for one for now, but we'll come back to that. I wanted to get this working tonight. Um, Don't need that. We don't need that. We literally need. Hold on. Forget that part. Okay. Now we can take this, nuke everything else. This is garbage now. Um, ah. Um, now, my gameplay expect. Self, I guess. Okay. Why is that wrong? Oh. That makes sense. <laughs> um, what does this need? So it needs a gameplay effect spec. Spec. 
Is there like a spec handle dot spec or data? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you'll probably need to use the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this, the delay is pretty bad because I, <laughs> I just realized that already. Um, Apply uh, gameplay. So it definitely has to be that one. Mm, what am I looking? to do. So yeah, sorry that I'm blending into the background here. Um, I just saw your message, Codebreaker, on <laughs> Discord. Yeah, that's a very compromising photo. <laughs> um, So is there a way to get just a spec? So cause F gameplay effects back gameplay effect. Uh, well then you can check Discord again. Okay, let me check. Um. Okay, this looks like it's from Tranic because it has gold and bounty, but this might be yours. Um, so GE bounty. Uh, 
。ああ。Do I still have gameplay ability? There is. Apply cooldown. No? Oh, fuck. Um. Damn, I can't think right now. Um. Yeah, get cooldown gameplay effect, right? No. Find all. Was it not in there? <laughs> um. Okay, let's let's get everything back. Okay, right. So did it take away what I wrote up here? Probably not. Um, what's the, what's make outgoing spec looking for again? Okay, can I do something like you gameplay effect damage effect equals damage data dot damage game dot class. I just want to see why it's bitching like that. Hold on, I gotta get back on the, the stream and the comments. Yeah, it's from the Trinic docs. Okay, thank you. Let's look at that real quick. Um. So that's what you told me. So. This So it's creating a new one by scratch. I don't need to do it by scratch though. Um, but Let me just see what's wrong Why, with damage data. Okay, so I do have to do this. Um, 
Yeah, I'm kind of burnt out at the moment. I'm not thinking straight. Let's just see if I can figure anything out. So I need to do T. Is that valid? So then can I do something like... This? Oh, what is this get class? What's wrong? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that compiles. doesn't really do anything yet. Um, oh, I gotta add chat to the uh, screen. Okay. Um. So how does this work? Oops. Um, so I guess I gotta do something like this. I should probably copy it from the execution. What is spec here? So it's literally a spec. So I don't want to handle, do I? All right, thanks for stopping by, Codebreaker. I appreciate it. Appreciate the help. Have a good one. Anything for spec here? So it's literally just that. Oops. Uh, spec handle dot. 
Um, is there a hat have to include? Let's see, gameplay ability, right? Is there anything for a handle? No. Um, Give me some of that sweet autocorrect or whatever that's called. Um, okay. Where's this defined? Gameplay effect types. Okay. Gameplay effect types. No. Is this in a gameplay ability? There should be in the dot H maybe. Yeah, gameplay effect types. Okay, can I do anything special now? What does this even do? Does this have anything? Um, U4, C++, get spec from a handle. Back? Ugh. Gross. Um. How does this work, for example? Like, where's spec come from? Here. Just take that so we have a reference to it. Um, um kind of going brain dead. Um, down again apply cool down so what does that apply cool down look like look at that real quick oh ah oh, my back
think I'll have to end the stream in a bit. So, let's go into a gameplay ability real quick. Let me look at apply cooldown. So, a commit ability cooldown is one thing. So that's ability spec handle. Shit. Um yeah, I'm kind of stumped at the moment. Um we have both this information up at the same time. Um, so F gameplay effect, spec handle, I'm making that, I need to do it again with the ability system component. Right? So ability system component. Apply. Gameplay effect. Spec to self. Um, let me see. We have only player, right? We're basically doing this, get ability system component, right? And then make outgoing spec, right? So gameplay effect handle structure, right? Then we set uh, assign tag by caller magnitude, right? I'm just gonna, let me look at the code again. Sometimes I need to look at blueprint. So make outgoing spec. So make outgoing spec, that line is literally like this, right? And then We need to, oh boy, what's the, so again, gameplay effect spec handle, right? Gameplay effect spec handle. So assign tag and then So apply gameplay effect to self. Okay, so what is this calling? So, because this is essentially what we want to do, right? Shouldn't be hard, <laughs> but alas, it is. Um. All right, I'm gonna call it now. We'll figure that later. Um, so for those who are still watching, um, check out 
our Discord server. I'll put it into the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the description down below. Um, if you haven't followed me on YouTube yet, I will put a link in the Discord chat, not Discord, in the um, Twitch channel. Uh, that's Twitch. <laughs> the Twitch chat. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you already know where my channel is, so please subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook, uh, The Life of Jevons. Uh, all I do is really link my tutorials and stuff there and the streams and things like that. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter as well, I'll put a link in the description if you're on YouTube. And if you're watching on Twitch, uh, it'll be in the chat. Uh, it's at Dev Level Design. And lastly, um, if you aren't already, please subscribe to our Patreon channel. Um, there you'll have access with certain tiers to the source code, so you can follow along and take a look at that. You'll get access to certain roles and accessibility within our Discord server and things of that nature. Um, so if you can find me on Patreon under Devin Sherry, it'll be in the description on YouTube and I just put into the chat on uh, Twitch. Uh, and we do have one supporter. I believe he's still supporting. It's uh, my friend Christoph Lova. So check him out as well. He's a really good technical artist. Uh, it's, again, Christoph Lovash. Uh, tell him I sent you. Uh, next time, we will figure this out, I promise. <laughs> I'm just a little burnt out. Because um, we, ha we have it written here, what we want to do in Blueprint. So we just got to see how that exactly uh, translates into C++. So I'll see you then. It'll be on Saturday, most likely. So I will see you guys then.